On this episode of Inside the Bunker, we visit the Florida State Fairgrounds for the Tampa Toy Con, a retro toy, comic book, diecast, and video game convention here in Tampa, Florida. Over 150 tables of pop culture goodness. Thank you for joining us here, Inside the Bunker. Hey guys, it's Keith and Christina again for um, Inside the Bunker. We are here at the Tampa Toy Con here in Tampa, Florida check out some retro toys, video games. Apparently all kinds of other cool things are inside of this vendor hall. We're about to check it out. Uh, kind of on the cuff, we did not plan on coming here today, but uh, we went to a concert last night right next door at the amphitheater and we saw that this was going on this weekend. We were staying at a hotel. Said, why not? Before we head home, we will check out what is inside of this convention and see and bring it all to you guys as much as I can. So uh, without further ado, Let's go inside and see what they have. And we just got in. Holy crap, lots of stuff to see. We've got Spider-Man and Silver Surfer here. Christina already found Care Bears and some strawberry shortcake. She loves some strawberry shortcake. Barbies. Classic cereal, food, berry. Fruit, fruit. Yummy mummy. Biggest Ronald McDonald head ever. Some Willow action figures that I used to have and play in the back of my grandmother's car. This is pretty awesome. All kinds of cool nostalgia. Kinds of Hot Wheels here. Rows and rows of Hot Wheels. Christina's checking them out. It's a Buccaneer bear pillow. All kinds of cool things, man. She still smells like strawberries. Oh, Christina found a strawberry shortcake doll. I still have mine, and this one still smells like strawberries. <laughs> Was this one from the 80s? Yes. Yeah. When, you, when she blows kisses, she smells like strawberries. This one's still good. That's cool, that's cool. It's Robin Hood. Yeah. Robin Hood, Roger Rabbit. Care Bears. What is it? It's a hug bunch. Look it! It's a pill puppy! Sure <laughs> <laughs> we got video games here. My mom had these when she was little. Chrissy oh Velvet God, Fashions? Yes, yes, Chrissy, and she promised me she didn't name me after the doll. <laughs> <laughs> There is so much cool stuff to look here. I mean, we are like overwhelmed with all kinds of nostalgia and toys and everything else. I mean, everywhere you turn here, there's something to look at. Something that I want to buy if I had unlimited money. These are cool. I still have my Fraggle Rock one. Very cool. 
of the Mogwai? Stones, I have that one. Which one? The Flintstones movie. I have it on VHS. I almost took it to have Kyle McLaughlin sign it because he's in it. Of course, there's pops everywhere. Christina's checking them out. Found something else. What is this? It's, it's cute. Oh, it's like a little lunchbox. That's neat. Yeah, what Disney princesses on them? Yeah. Pocahontas. Pocahontas. That's what drew my attention. I saw Pocahontas. Checking out the old retro games. One of Christina's favorite games, SSX. I'm really bad at it, but it's fun. So funny looking at all these, all the different games I've played. Mania, T2, Streets of Rage, oh my god. Streets of Rage 2, Mortal Kombat, the original Mortal Kombat. Oh my god, so many cool games. Solar Jetman. Kung Fu. I know nothing about wrestling, but here are a bunch of WWF and WWE. Oh, well, I've never heard of it. Never heard of The Rock. Oh man! Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch from Sega CD. That's cool. Like a Saturn, wipe out.
I think we might be buying this. Yes. Two framed Roger Rabbit on VHS. Invisible tank, biplane, jet fighter. That was probably one of my favorite games that I had in the Atari. So we made it back into the car and oh my gosh, there were so many cool things that you guys could saw, see in the video as well as what we were talking about in the video. I mean, we found some retro so stuff. everything in there. If you are into like 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s toys, uh, video games, whatever, you should definitely, definitely check that out. Um, it's only a two day convention, so today is the last day, the, today's Sunday, um, but they do come once a year here in Tampa. It's our first time going, but uh, we definitely will make a return trip here. It was really awesome. It was only $10 per person, $10 parking, so I mean, it's really cheap to get in. Uh, not a lot of cosplay, actually. I don't think we saw any cosplay or anything like that, so it's not like that type of convention, but it's just a lot of vendors, a lot of toys, a lot of everything else that you can imagine um, here at this convention. But it's really cool. I know uh, Christina found all kinds of- uh, Oh my gosh, so many things that I actually owned in my childhood. So it was, and I know Keith did too. So it was a very nostalgic trip for us this whole weekend. It's been really great. Um, I know that they said that the next show is gonna actually be in Lakeland. Yeah, so I'll share um, at the bottom here of on the actual video uh letting you know when the next convention is going to be uh for this florida toy expo uh traveling circus as you put it where they will go and um and bring all the vendors and toys to these other conventions and um, we talked to a couple of nice vendors that were saying their next one is in lakeland as she was saying as christina was saying so we will um bring that to you guys um, i'm not sure if we're going to be able to make it to those but if you are in the area or in the florida area or you want to check out these conventions it's definitely worth checking out but we will bring you a haul video in a few seconds. So um, we're gonna flash forward a little bit to show you kind of what we got. Um, we do this in every video just to let you know, you know, some of the little trinkets and everything that we picked up here at the convention. So we ended up picking up Die Another Day on VHS, the original 
Batman movie uh, with Michael Keaton and Jack Nicholson. Die Hard 2, Die Harder. Who Framed Roger Rabbit. And Top Gun, all on VHS. Uh, we just wanted to collect them. We're kind of getting into where we're collecting like classic VHS movies, you know, just to kind of have them around and as decorations and stuff like that. But these are some awesome movies we found for very cheap. They did not cost us much at all. I did find this for $5, The Unofficial X-Files Companion. For those that don't know, I'm a huge X-Files fan. This is actually a book I do not own. I own a lot of X-Files, like compendiums and, you know, all kinds of stuff. But this is one of the cooler items. It was only $5. I found it at one of the booths. And lastly, I found this Tampa Bay Buccaneers bear pillow. You guys probably saw it in the video, but looks really awesome. Super cute, super squishy. So I had to pick that up as well. So as you guys can see, we are home. So I really appreciate you guys uh, following us on this journey. It was a really fun weekend, a lot happening in Tampa. Please like and subscribe if you like this kind of video. Again, we check out all kinds of conventions. We have some gaming reviews that I've been doing. We also have a lot of plans coming up towards the end of the year, a lot more conventions and a lot more adventures for Inside the Bunker. So thank you guys so much for joining us today. And I really appreciate you checking in and tuning in to this video. So uh, have a good one and I will see you next time.